Hi, this is Craig and welcome to another episode of Cruising Off Duty. If you've been following the channel, you know we're in the middle of a transatlantic sailing series, covering everything from the basics of provisioning to casting off and going out into the big blue Atlantic Ocean to do the 3,000 nautical mile passage from the Canary Islands to St. Lucia. Now I know in the intros and the outros, you're getting to see this awesome drone footage that I got with my Mavic Pro while in the middle of the Atlantic. Well, this is the day in the Atlantic trip that we actually created that footage and I just want to show you what happened. I mean, it was quite easy to take off and get the great footage. It was a beautiful day. The problem was trying to get the drone back on a moving sailboat. Here it comes. Oh, careful guys. Careful. No, oh, this is not good. All right. Okay, just go slow. Let's say it was a bit of a stressful environment and we almost crashed the drone more than once into the side of the boat. For a myriad of reasons, it's a lot more challenging than you would think it would be. And I'm gonna show you what I learned from this. So if you're trying to use your drone to capture beautiful footage of a moving sailboat, you can learn from me so you don't drop yours right into the bottom of the ocean. All that coming up on this episode of Cruising Off Duty. Pitch it or you want me no, don't pitch it. it. I think I'll pitch it. Don't pitch it. Good. You're up. I'm up. There you don't go. You have a nice picture from Let's behind us. return to home. No. Wow, we have a drone in the air. It's so exciting. The taking off and the getting the awesome footage was the easy part. The hard part, we realized, was how do we get it back on board? The Mavic was acting very strange. It was going up and down all on its own, and we weren't sure if that was due to the fact that I turned the downward sensors off. You see, Dan was going to hand catch it, and with the downward sensors, the drone would actually fly away from you if he tried to catch it from below. A more confidence in me, 
on your, on your, like that, if you on your guinea pig. I like that if you pull this off. <laughs> You see, everybody else is looking at the drone while I'm looking at my iPhone, which is the screen, which shows what the camera sees. I'm just making sure that the boat is in the center of the frame. The Mavic Pro can fly around for about 20 minutes on a battery, and I've flown for about 15, and it's definitely time to come home, only giving me maximum five minutes to get on the boat, and I need it every minute. You'll see that just as I decide it's time to land, that's when my iPhone tells me it's almost out of battery. Time to land. Coming home. <laughs> okay, so now, where are we now? We're behind the boat. Now the tough part, bringing it back to land, eh? Did it bring it down to about no battery? Am I oh, out? Oh, I know, sir. <laughs> yeah, that... come on back. On land, a hand catch is really quite easy. You fly right up and above the person that's going to catch it. They reach up, grab it, and you're done. But it's going to be a lot more challenging when the boat is moving. And also, if that screen goes dead, then I can't see what the camera sees on the drone, which makes it really difficult to do minute maneuvers. Put down your 30 feet off the deck. Come on, baby. Over. Come to mama. Captain, shuttle crab approaching. You want to stand up one more step there. Two additional problems we run into is as I'm trying to fly towards the boat, we notice that the Mavic Pro is, seems to just be going up and down all on its own. We're not sure if that's due to the waves or due to the fact that the downward sensors are off. One thing I do while the phone still works is I put it in tripod mode, hoping to give more minute maneuvers. Unfortunately, when we put it in tripod mode, it wasn't fast enough to keep up with the boat. Tripod mode? I'm not sure. I don't know. I don't think it does. I can only change modes while I have the phone working, so I switch back out of tripod mode into regular mode. I say you just want to get it on board. Okay. <laughs> I think the way you were coming in before was just fine. So that's fine, yeah. Anyway, a little close to the water, a little higher. Close to the right. He's doing that on the waves. Yeah. Okay. It's going up and down by itself. I'm not going up and down. Oh, you got the safety back on? Is it no. Sensing it? Yeah. No. Oh. That's what I mean. It's doing it with the waves. Oh, okay. Yeah, I'm just yeah. going forward and backwards. I still have the obstacle avoidance front sensors on, and I just realized at this point it wouldn't fly close enough to Dan because it sensed the boat. So I try and fly beside the boat and fly sideways towards Dan, which is a bit of a hard maneuver. Yeah. Maybe go sideways. Did you want to try to stop the boat? I'm going to I'm trying to bring it to you. Here it oh, careful guys. Careful. Oh, this is not good. All right. Okay, just go slow. Get it. At this point, I'm getting a little stressed. I'm trying to fly sideways at Dan on a moving sailboat. My iPhone's almost dead, and my Mavic's battery isn't going to last much longer. I really need to land this thing on the boat very soon. Probably the most challenging landing I've ever done. Dan doesn't quite get a grab on it. It ends up going past him right into our covered cockpit, which has a bunch of bars and ropes and everything hanging down, goes in between all of those and ends up going out the back. This was the one time that I was almost sure it was going to hit something, flop into the water, and that would be the end of my Mavic Pro. You're going to hear the Mavic Pro's front-facing sensor beeping, 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 telling me it's going to hit something, so it tries to get away from it. You're going to see Alex, who's our camera girl, dive for cover here, so we kind of lose the footage from the boat's perspective, but of course I have the footage from the drone. Oh, oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Okay, this is not good. Drop it in the Zodiac. Here's the slow-mo drone footage. goes right past Dan, right into our cockpit, and I back it out past the bar and past the main sheets. Wow. If it had hit any of those things, it would have flopped into the water and that would have been the end of it. Like I said, time is running out. So now we're thinking, what can we do to make this easier? So we decide to turn it around, fly backwards towards the boat, put the boat motor engines in reverse to slow down the momentum and hope for the best. Dropping it is harder than it sounds. Because it, I gotta have to fly backwards. Because it's, the sensor is... Just get it. Just slow it down, just see easy. It's reversed for me because I'm not used to going back now. Okay. No, because the sensor wouldn't let me go closer. Okay, hold on. I think your idea of putting it on the tramp is the best one. Can we stop the boat? Yeah. Engines, try the engines in reverse. Just leave the sail. Okay, I'm gonna try and bring it right to you. Uh, you keep going up. Oh, 
I'm so relieved that I've got it in Dan's hand. I kill the engines, or so I think. You see me pump my fist, and then I find out that the motors are still going and it's trying to take off again. Got it! It's not dying over there. Whew! Oh, sorry, it's still going. Hold on, he's holding. That's the problem with that wretched thing. He won't do it. At first, I just keep trying to kill the engines the usual way, and it just will not stop. I think we later figured out it's because since the sailboat's still moving, the Mavic thinks it's still flying and refuses to turn off its motors. You're going to see Paul jump into action by trying to power it off by pressing the power button, which with DJI drones is kind of a complicated process of pressing once and then pressing a second time and holding, which takes a little getting used to when you're trying to put your hand in the middle of a bunch of spinning props. And Careful. Gotta push it twice. Push it and push it and hold it. Second one, hold it. Push, push. There. there. That's never happened before. It would not say, do you want to land? Would you hey, beer? Right. do not ever do that. <laughs> do you that got it. There, yeah. Somebody gets a drink of rum. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> oh God. Oh God. It wasn't asking me when I was doing the downward end. Yeah. It would not say, do you want to land or do you want to stop? It would just keep it going. do it. Okay. Is that oh. a helper? Goodness. Here's a shot Dave took of me with his phone. I look pretty damn excited to get my drone back. Either that or I'm possessed by the devil. Anybody's doing a horror movie and needs a guy with a demonic smile, I guess I'm your guy. We wanted to see if we could duplicate the problem with the engines not stopping, and yes, of course we were able to. So that kind of confirms our thought that it's because the boat's moving, the Mavic sees it's moving and assumes it's flying. Is that on? No, it's trying to get away. Wow, it's trying hard. It's trying hard to get away. It's to holding down. down. See? Nope. See, doing the same thing. Nope. 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 And there's no other option? No, because we're moving. That's the one. Go oh, oh, for No. Oh, oh there you go. Oh. Okay, when it slowed down, I let go. That's all I had to do. Let's try that again then. I think when it slows down, I gotta let go. Yeah. Yeah. We get some trouble. Yeah. Now it's flying. There you go. That's the trick. Let go as soon as it slows down. Yeah. Okay, I'm letting go now. Yeah, yes. Okay, let's pull it up. <laughs> there you go. Thank you yeah, for that trial. Free. Free. Nope, so nope. that's what it was. When it slows down, I gotta let go of the two joysticks. If I hold it, it tries to start up again. Oh, hey, now we got all figured out the bill. No, no, no. After that heart stopper, I would not be flying my drone off a moving sailboat again. In future, I would have the sails doused so the sailboat stands pretty much still. Then I might try it. Also, a better drone to do this would be one of the Phantom series because they have the big loopy landing gear that you can easily grab from below without getting your hands anywhere near those spinning blades. Hopefully you liked the episode. If so, please give it a thumbs up. Also share the link with your friends or anybody you might think might find this interesting or educational. There's plenty more of the Transatlantic Sailing series coming up, so subscribe so you don't miss any episodes. In the next episodes, you're going to see that we start catching fish. We catch a tuna, we catch a mahi-mahi, and we catch a dorado. Which was interesting and entertaining, especially when Dave caught the Dorado because he made it sound like he was bringing in Moby Dick. So stay tuned for that. I want to do a special thanks to the patrons that support the channel. Without them, this wouldn't be possible. If you enjoy the channel and want to support it as well, you can go to patreon.com slash cruisingoffduty. Well, until next time, this is Craig signing off, wishing you safe cruising.